Welcome to the podcast that has earned recognition in 2019 and in 2020 as being named one of the very best in the marketing research space. This is Research Business Daily Report. And if you would like to lend your support to our viewers-supported video stream, please go to RBDR's exclusive community at the crowdfunding platform, patreon.com slash rbdr. This is Bob Lederer for more than 25 years, the respected voice in market research. One more, and as far as I can hope to tell you, one last look at the 2020 U.S. election polling from us today. This one is from UK-based Conquest CEO David Penn, who made several astute observations in a blog for WARC. Like, what does quote-unquote wrong mean in context of polling? Is it that polling results are wrong or flawed, or is the interpretation of them out of kilter? Penn stated, quote, if I ask you, do you like oranges, you could give me a pretty accurate answer. But if I ask you, are you going to eat an orange next Thursday, the chances of an accurate answer diminish sharply. Because if you're like me, you're an irregular consumer of oranges, so it's only possible that you will. Now, after you wrap your brain around that Penn idea, it's not unreasonable to buy into one of his other suggestions, that it is not reliable to accept two people tell a pollster who they will be voting for. People point to shy Trump voters, an idea that he doesn't necessarily accept. But there are other factors as well, and one that Penn says he thinks about is how difficult it is to reach many minorities, and that has been occurring in the U.S. population voting as we see a shift in who minorities are actually voting for. Penn elaborated his point of view and polling philosophy by pointing out that when his company tests a new baked beans concept, Conquest has to decide whether it believes that 50% of respondents say they will definitely purchase it. Penn wrote, well, we don't disbelieve that, but we don't report to our client that they can expect almost half the population to rush out and buy it. Figures like this are known to overclaim and people's willingness to buy will be affected by all sorts of extraneous factors. And that's why survey data forms only part of predictive models of future behavior. Penn noted incredulously that pollsters are almost the only part of the market research industry to still cling wholeheartedly to the belief that people know what they're going to do and can tell you about it. He took to heart that one polling company has developed a multiple regression model that predicts voting intention from previous behavioral activity. Finally, Penn doubled down on the need to understand and accept the margin of error that accompanies most polls in order to accurately evaluate those poll results. And he urged an emphasis on getting a handle on systematic polling bias, because in 2020 there seems to have been bias favoring Democrats or maybe against Trump. That wraps up today's edition of the Research Business Daily Report. We want to thank you for watching today and however often you do. It remains the best indicator to us that viewers are watching RBDR and looking at it as time well spent. And we'd like to encourage everyone to share any of our videos with a friend, an associate, or a peer. So we hope you'll consider becoming an RBDR Patreon supporter, which you can do by visiting patreon.com slash RBDR. Until we see you, hopefully tomorrow, we hope that you will please stay safe.